Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm going to talk about problem number 65. So the question is, if you have one gram of aluminum hydroxide and it reacts with three grams of sulfuric acid, we want to know what is the mass of the water produced. So the first step in evaluating this equation is you need to make sure it's balanced. So the first step I've got here is balancing the equation. So what I did was I went through and I made sure all the coefficients were added properly. So when it's balanced, you need to add the following coefficients here. Next step is you need to evaluate the given information. So what we know here is the question is asking when you have one gram of aluminum hydroxide and three grams of sulfuric acid, we want to know what is the water produced. So what we want to do is we want to find the mass of the H2O. Okay. So now that we have our new balanced equation here with the new leading coefficients, step three is we want to find the mass of aluminum hydroxide, the sulfuric acid, and the H2O. So using the periodic table, I went ahead and I added those values up here. So we're going to then, into step four, we're going to use these values to find the mass of the H2O. So with the given one gram of aluminum hydroxide, I'm going to use the molar mass of aluminum hydroxide times the mole to mole ratio for aluminum hydroxide and H2O times the molar mass of H2O to finally get me the mass of H2O from the one gram of aluminum hydroxide. Down here I've done the same thing but with three grams of sulfuric acid. So I've used the molar mass of sulfuric acid times the mole to mole ratio of H2O and sulfuric acid times the molar mass of H2O to get me 1.10 grams of H2O. So we know that the limiting reagent is the aluminum hydroxide based on this being the lower value. So we can tell you that the mass of the H2O produced by this equation is 0.692 grams of H2O.